the value s by the backward method. So both in the set. Okay, so for that one, this is the time we do get to guide you to do step by step. This is what I will be practicing. So basically, you start to build your set function to replace your s. So this is your s, so you replace, replace, and then you get your set function. Okay, if you want to simplify to make your coefficient of your z be what, then basically this is the As if you print out this one, is this stable? It's stable. Okay, if after you calculate the like, initial address function is stable, after you apply your effort or after you apply your capitalizer, you get unstable with something wrong. Because last week through the theoretic study, maybe you can understand your backward as your capitalizer. You have to make sure it's still stable. Very right. So this one for sure should be stable. Huh? But you do the pre factor analysis, you can notice this one is only about 39. So the stability has to be preserved. But you may not be able to achieve a good pre factor. Divided by 3 will be replaced by S divided by A, right? 
So we are going to have a new function. Let me call it h t s. T is the prerequisite. Okay, it will be then you have done. Okay, so basically, this function is different from your original function. So this one should be your s divided by three point one four nine plus one zero two times your zero point one s divided by three point one four nine plus zero point one plus two. So basically, what is the change? The only change is I replace the omega which is three by a green web thing. Okay, 
little boring for those slides after class. I will post at the uh, Now, the same question. Let's look at the zero and the four matching. So for this case, now if you look at the zero and four. So your zero is minus one and your four is minus ten. And there is no infinite right? No infinite one to one. So I'm going to map this one into a zero, which is e minus one e. And my form will be minus n multiplied by e. So after I get this, my x z factor is k z minus 0 0.729 and z minus 0.0. Because this is my zero, this one is my O. So basically you map your zero. You map this zero to this one, you map this O to this one. Alright? After we have done this, you need to see the next thing, which is the K. So how to evaluate the K? First of all, I need to find out what is the function when your S equal to zero. When S equals to zero, you have zero plus one and zero on one multiplied with n plus one, your gain is one. My f z equal to one, you will get k one minus zero point seven seven nine divided by one minus zero point zero eight two. And you need this one to be the same, so you need this one to be the one. Then you can solve your k. So after you solve your k, your k is about 4.15. So zero and four, I think, is much simpler, right? And the last one, the zero f. So this is going to be 10 now. So 
for some of you, if you don't know how to really count this one, you consider this one 10, 10 plus 10, 10. You then do multiply with 0 for the right factor. Alright. Then this one is something you can do by the table, right? Okay? So basically, after that is, you can draw. Then you simplify. Imagine you get this one. So that's what we're doing. 